welcome to my channel, Restore Glory, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. I am excited. I hope you hear the excitement in my voice. I am back and I am relaxed and I actually have a wonderful haul for you. This haul that I'm about to show you is from the flea market. The flea market that I go to every single uh, second Saturday of every month in Delray, Alexandria, Virginia. And uh, this flea market is amazing. They have some new vendors, which I am uh, I'm happy to see new vendors. And um, some of my old vendors, some of the vendors that used to come, they're no longer participating and I totally miss them, but the new vendors are doing really well. So um, I'm going to always go because you never know what you're going to find. You just never know what you're going to find. So I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to get right to it. As always, guys, again, to a couple of things. If you like this type of content and you like, you know, seeing vintage and antique and, you know, mid-century modern, please do hit that subscribe button and uh, hit the bell notification so that when I do upload videos, um, you'll be notified. Uh, you'll be notified when I do upload videos. So thank you so much again for stopping by my, my channel. I really appreciate it. So I'm going to just stop talking and get right to it. So one of my favorite items that I got from the flea market this go around, I got to show you this thing first. It's amazing. It's just beautiful. I want to say it's Viking. It's a Viking mushroom. Now it's not that big. I want to say it's probably maybe two and a half inches tall, but I love it. I absolutely love it. And um, I don't remember all the prices, but I think I paid probably $10 for this. This vendor always works with me. She always gives me a great bargain. So, but I absolutely love, love, love this Viking mushroom. It is gorgeous. Absolutely love it. It's my favorite. Another favorite item that I found at the flea market is this beautiful, beautiful box. Look at this. It's gorgeous. I love it. Now the bottom, hold on a second. The bottom pulls out like that. And then you put that, I guess you put the tissue back up. Once you take this out and then you put the, wait a minute, let me think about that for a second. Oh, yeah, you put the tissue in it, and then you slide this back in. I had to think about that for a second. Whew. <laughs> it's not that hard, Donna. Uh, but anyway, isn't this gorgeous? Absolutely just love, love, love. And I'm pretty sure I only paid, I think she only gave, the, I think she charged me $8 for this. This is absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Isn't that gorgeous? Love, 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 love it. All right, the next item I got to show you is this beautiful, um, it's a, I was about to say outdoor, but it's really not outdoor. It could be indoor as well. What am I trying to say? Thermometer, right? I love the graphics. It says tomatoes, as you can see, Fortunato. And um, it definitely, as you can see, it's probably about 70 plus degrees in my house right now. But it does work. The thermometer is intact. The mercury is intact. It's not broken. And I thought that was pretty good. I think I only paid $10 for this, which is great. I think this is perfect for your kitchen decor. So that was that. And the next item I got to show you, this one I think I I think I overpaid. I'm pretty sure I overpaid. I don't even think I do. I think I overpaid. I think I paid $30 for this. And the reason why I paid $30 for this is because I was remembering when I found a Humpty Dumpty um, cookie jar a while ago, well, maybe about a year ago at the uh, Second Avenue thrift store. I think I paid like $7.99 for it. And I'm pretty sure I sold that for about $285. It was just that rare and, 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 and it sold. It sold quickly, actually. But this is actually, um, it's a, it's a bank, right? And I'm not sure, I guess it's Humpty Dumpty. It probably is. It probably is Humpty Dumpty. It's a bank, but it doesn't go for that amount of money. I think it only sells for about 30, 30 or $35. So it does say 1957, as you can see, it's in great condition, great vintage condition. Um, there are a few scrapes on it, but, but no chips, no cracks or anything like that. The painting, the paint on it is good. And he's just such a happy fella. <laughs> So if you love Humpty Dumpty and you love kind of sort of that old kind of nursery rhyme nostalgia, this would fit perfect in your home decor. But I think I overpaid for it, but it's okay. He was so cute anyway. <laughs> that looks like me, doesn't he? <laughs> anyway, so that's that. All right, the next item I got to show you is, or going to show you that is, it's this beautiful, um, it's just like a, like a little picture slash vase. On the bottom, it says Black Capped Chickadee by Gumbo, I believe, or Cumbo, C-U-M or G-U-M-B-O-W. And um, I love the gold, uh, the gold trim on the handle. 
and on the base and look at that chickadee it's in great condition perfect for the spring and the summer even if you don't use it as a pitcher you can use it as a, a flower pot to put some beautiful flower summer flowers and a spring or summer flowers in it so i thought that was kind of cool and i think the vendor here's the, the inside and i think the vendor sold this to me for ten dollars i think for ten and you know what guys i'm just now noticing and this is actually the second time this is helping with this vendor oh my god it definitely does have it's a repair i'm just now seeing that yeah my fault for not looking so but anyway if you like this guys just let me know and i'll give you a really 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 good price for this no problem at all all right, the next item I'm going to show you, I got from a new vendor, actually. And I actually have four of these. They're noise makers. And I don't know whether or not they make noise or not. I actually didn't think it was too sanitary or, or uh, I didn't think it was too sanitary for me to put my lips on. I may put a, uh, um, what am I trying to say, like a paper towel or something on just to see. But I love, love, love the graphics, right? Look at the graphics on this. Here's the tag on the inside. He gave me a really good deal for a set of four. And so that was pretty good. And I'm like, okay, why not? Right? So they're vintage noise makers. So I got four of these. And then I got two of these uh, metal noise makers. I won't, I'll try not to drive you crazy. Right, so I got all of those from that same vendor. What I might do because actually I have uh I have a, a set of these noise makers already on my Etsy shop. I think I have two. So what I might do is pull those down, and then what I might do is lock them up in lot in a lot of four. So that instead of selling the two, I'll sell four of them. I think they'll probably sell better with four. So we shall see. Little vintage noise maker. All right. The next item I'm going to show you, which is absolutely one of my favorites as well, this beautiful gold. And I want to say this is either alabaster or some type of marble. Um, I'm going to call it a dresser a dresser dish. But I love these koi uh, fish on the, the feet. Hope you guys can see that. Isn't that cute? And then here's the top. And then here's the inside. It's in excellent condition, guys. I don't see any chips or cracks in it. Absolutely stunning as a dresser, dresser jar. I'll try to say that real quick. But isn't it gorgeous? I love that. Here's the bottom. This little baby's kind of heavy, too. Isn't that gorgeous? Love, love, love it. And I think he only charged me... I think it was like $10 for this. And I think when I looked this one up, I found a similar one. I want to say it sold for like 50 bucks. So we shall see. We're going to do a little bit more research on that, baby. All right. The next item was definitely more of an impulse thing. Um, I was actually about to leave and I stopped by this vendor. I don't typically stop by this vendor because they sell a lot of jewelry with amazing jewelry as a matter of fact and they sell a lot of uh vintage and antique stuff their prices are their prices are a little bit um um uh they're a little bit pricey i can't I, I don't even know how to even describe it but their prices are definitely a little bit pricey so i don't have i i don't stop by them typically i love looking at their jewelry their, their jewelry prices are um i want to say that they are Fair, I guess I'm not a that's not my niche but um yeah the jewelry price is a little bit high I gotta be honest they just really are like their brooches are like a hundred dollars their little rings are like eighty dollars and I don't know for a for a um a flea market um I don't know anyway I'm gonna get off that soapbox anyway so I actually stopped by them they actually have a had a table with some other stuff and I um this was originally priced for eighteen dollars and I was looking at it and um, the the lady says, well, what do you want to pay for it? I said, I don't know. I mean, I like it. I love Beatrice Potter. And so she says, well, will you take, will you do 10? I'm like, okay, I'll take it for 10, right? So I think I sold this Beatrice Potter. It's a, um, it's building blocks. That's the picture of it. I'm not going to pull it all out. But um, I think I sold the same set for about $20 a while ago. 
So I'm, I said for ten dollars, of course, why not? Who doesn't love Beatrix Potter? It's perfect for a child's child's nursery or nursery boy or girl. I just thought it was so cute. And who doesn't love who doesn't love Peter Rabbit and um, Beatrix Potter? So of course I got that for ten dollars. And um, yeah, so there we go. So why not? All right, so that's that. And the next item is a bunch of. Hold on one second. I pulled this over. I think some amazing um, vintage uh, made in Japan putts houses. So I had to put them on this dish, dish so you can see them all. But aren't these amazing, right? And they even came with these little, uh, sorry, give me one moment. A little mini, uh, what do you call these things? Um, little trees. Sorry about that. Look at that. That's probably not a good way to see them. Isn't that cool? This awesome. So, um, so yeah, they are in fairly decent condition. I'll try to show you them one by one. This one is a little jacked up in the back. It's a little torn, as you can see. But for and I think there was a tree on the front right here that fell off. But for the most part, it's in it's in fairly decent condition. Here's another one. Great price on these. This vendor was new and gave me a good price on all these putts houses. So it does say made in Japan on the bottom. And I think this one actually happens to be my favorite. I love this one. This one is my favorite. It's like of a, you know, I guess I guess a church and you know, it's just my favorite. And it's huge too. I mean it's relatively big. Here's the back, which is in good condition, and the cellophane and stained glass windows are intact. A lot of time those are um, they're torn or they're broken, but this one is in good condition. So this vendor gave me a really, 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 really good deal on all of these putts houses, right? Isn't that amazing? Just kind of love these, right? And I have sold these and they do really, really well. All right, now the last thing I got to tell you is an impulse. It, it was an impulse buy from a very, very, very new vendor. And uh, I don't know. I don't even have any excuse. And then when I found out, when I got the daggone thing home, I realized that it was broken. I'm so disappointed. Anyway, it is a chrome uh, mid-century modern styled ashtray, right? And so um, the the piece that makes this open is off, right? It is in pristine condition. It's never been used. There's no no uh, sign of it ever being used. However, um, I love the shape of it. Obviously, it definitely can fit a, a modern mid-century modern home decor. Even if you don't use it as an ashtray, you can certainly um, put something on the top of it and make it just like a, a candle holder, if you will. Uh, but if you if you do use it as an ashtray, just know that the little uh, device or whatever you call it that opens it up to put the ashes in, I suppose, is just not there. So, yeah, this definitely was an impulse buy. And um, I paid $20 for it. I paid $20 for it. So, and it is, in, it is in pristine condition. Again, I don't think it's ever been used. And if you like it, list it and, you know, keep it moving. So, I'm going to list it and see what happens all right so i think that's it i think that's everything from the flea market uh this month's flea market which is what april april's flea market so i think i did pretty good i think the two things that are my favorite is number one this beautiful uh viking mushroom this is my favorite absolutely my favorite and then the next thing that's my favorite i gotta say hold on one second i gotta say it's this beautiful box my absolute favorite so those two things I think I scored from, um, I scored this month at the flea market. I think that's pretty much it. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate it. Again, if there's anything that you guys see that you're interested in, I have not listed anything yet. I literally just pulled things out of the case, excuse me, today. And I said, no matter what, I'm going to get this, to get these haul done. I have another haul coming up. This the, the next haul is from the um, from the Goodwill and Second Avenue Thrift Store. So stay tuned for that one. But again, if you see anything here, guys, that you like, just shoot me a quick email or just drop me a comment here, and we can certainly certainly work it out. All right, all right, guys. Thank you so much for stopping on my channel. Of course, you know I, I appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. You have a wonderful wonderful Saturday. Smooches.